In this video, we're going to talk about memoization in JavaScript. In computing, memoization is an optimization technique used primarily to speed up computer programs by storing the result of expensive function calls and return the cache result when the same input occurs again. What this means is that memoization will cache the result of an input into the system and if the if the input is asked again by the user it will simply return the cache results instead of doing an expensive operation again so let's grab a code sample and go through it and see what it's about so in this function it performs a function of raising a value to the hundredth power while modern computers make this very fast, imagine you have a slow PC or you're actually performing a really expensive operation on the computer. And you don't want to have to perform this function every single time when it's called, provide, provided that there's a value given by the user. So let's say I want to raise 100 to the 100th power and I need to do that a hundred times and you can see that this will really slow down the computer and really make your program slow on the other hand using memoization we can store the results of 100 to the 100th power then the next time when we're performing this function passing in 100 as the base then the program will simply return the value that it's already calculated and stored in memory instead of doing the intensive calculation every single time. So let's go over this function. Here we have a function called raise to 100 power. It accepts a base value. So if you remember, we call square root, I mean, the exponential function works like this. If you do 3 raised to the third power, that will be 9. So in this case, we want something raised to the 100th power. So first, we check if there's a private variable called underscore cache and to see if it's available. If it's not, we set it to an empty object. So here we have a condition. If this cache very cache object is, does not exist with this base as a property of the object then we need to that means this value has not been calculated before so we need to recalculate this value so here I I put a sample message saying this value is not cached so we're performing this expensive operation and storing it in cache so we have a temporary variable called results and here we perform the intensive operation of raising whatever the user passes in to the 100th power. And then we store the results of this calculation into this specific cache value. So the key of this cache will be the base. So let, if, let's say the user pass in 100 to the 100th power, then the cache for the 100 base will be saved to this variable. So next time when we enter this function, it will be found inside this condition will evaluate to false and it will simply return the value stored in memory. So let's try this out. So here I need to call the function which is raised to 100 power so let's say we want to raise 100 to the 100th power. So this value is not found in cache and is calculating and restoring in cache. Um, sorry, I had a previous version of this. Uh, it was doing something else, but basically Pretend this is the first time I'm running it, so it's not found in cache, and then you perform this expensive operation and storing the value of 100 to the 100th power inside the cache. Watch what happens when I call the function again. You see, immediately we get the answer without performing this heavy operation. 
so it's returning the value from cache so every time I call this thing it will return the value immediately so compared to let's say I want the uh, 101 raised to the 100 power now it performs a operation again now the next time I call it it will be immediate so as you can see memoization is a really powerful technique if you ever need to do anything intensive in JavaScript multiple times so 